so we have a 20 gram jig okay now again I just want to show you these are not cheap split rings okay the one that's here but I'll show you how easy it is to actually open these things okay so all right I have to be pretty far just so I don't hit things okay so watch okay so not a lot of people actually put a lot of thought to stuff like this and listen if it works for you great okay what I'm trying to say is that there are better mouse traps out there and it's up to you to think if you can actually adopt this or not all right now I've lost far too many fish and I'm looking for ways so that I won't have to lose fish all right <clears throat> so yeah building a better mouse trap is always one of those concerns always this is a koika 20 grams it could be small or big it doesn't matter it actually is applicable to quite a lot of lures okay so what I've done <clears throat> is to make a small eye eye loop all right and then a bigger eye loop on the side right there now check this out see that now the the trick to this is actually to position everything correctly first and then there see look at that so if I form the big eye here, what happens is that the the jig has like a big range of motion. Okay. And then once this is done, all I have to do is actually finish the eye. And it's easy, okay? Even with the jig there. So it's just a few turns. This is 100 pound wire okay that's 50 actually 100 something pound wire so that's 50 at least 50 kilos so this is not gonna break on light or medium gear and I know that the wire can handle it so you know better than any split ring all right so just like that we've actually eliminated the split ring okay now if I took this, right, this round nose pliers, okay, and I take the other end of this assembly, okay, and I pull, that's not gonna budge. That's probably gonna f the deform the, uh, the circle, but that's not going anywhere, okay? So even if, let's say, I get a big fish and look at that, it's still the direct line of pull and there's no stress that's going to happen on a split ring. And at the very most, this will deform. Now, if you don't want it big, you could do a small one, a smaller loop and it will stay all right better than a split ring now for fast jigs you will need a split ring but you're taking it back okay what's gonna happen is that for fast jigs the split ring is not going to be a load bearing connection which means that Whatever happens, there's no pressure that's going to be put on the split ring and it's all going to be a direct line of pull to a direct line of pull to your leader. Okay, so let's uh, 
just use this as an example here. Okay, there we go. So, you can see that the solid ring hangs freely and if I had a, an assist hook, it would be here. And the assist hook is connected to this eye, okay? It's basically a figure eight, okay? And there's, there's a lot that's sold of that figure eight, the solid ring figure eight. But what this is, is it makes the line of pull onto something solid and straight to your leader and this becomes non-load bearing okay why should you use it well it's simple you don't have to have a lot of headaches when you're fishing and this very very simple modification is something that you can do on your own you don't have to buy it well you have to buy the wire but if you fish, more than likely you already have wire like this. This is just 100 pound wire. Okay, right here. Okay, now you can scale this up, of course. Okay, right here. This is made out of 400 pound wire. So, yes, you can scale it up, you can scale it down. It's very useful from ultralight down to or up to really heavy tackle. Now here's another use for this, right? Let's let's make one. Okay. So this we don't have to make a really big eye. Okay? And it's this simple. Okay? I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay? Form uh, an eye loop. Make it as clean as you can. There we go. All right. See that? I done. Okay. Just have to adjust, flex that so that it's straight. All right. And then we make bigger loop just so the lure has some freedom of movement now remember this is 100 pound wire okay and you're gonna be attaching this to somewhere critical where it will not it won't really flex okay so once you have that you see that all I need to do is just close it and then if you like you lose it using clips you can use clips there and look the size of the wire isn't too big and what that means is that um, you can tie it direct on this one and it's fine it acts like a permanent clip and what happens is as you can see there it has a lot of motion okay it doesn't restrict it so very fast very easy modification and quite a useful one you don't have to worry about having the uh, the split ring open. You don't have to think about if the, the size of the split ring is too small or too big because it's just right for this one. Okay? Now it may be very it may be difficult for some people to work with wire but i assure you if you start actually just learning the fundamentals and some basic guidelines it's actually quite safe and um, what you can get out of wire is a lot of usefulness for quite a lot of things and most of these you can't buy okay so look at that just with that single modification you have a clip that is practically unbreakable okay quite small and 
it doesn't add a lot of weight plus it gives it a lot of motion right there okay you tie your knots here okay you um, it acts like a solid ring that's what it is okay a modifiable a modifiable solid ring so the connection is very very strong it also gives your knot a bit of distance from the lure sometimes it can save you from toothy fish because it kind of acts like a very short wire leader there so it has a lot of advantages and obviously the disadvantage the only disadvantage is the fact that you have to make it yourself and there's no way around it this is something that you have to DIY and it's not something that you just buy off the shelf okay so this is something that you're gonna have to do to make things better for you it's, right now it's good timing if you have a lot of lures to put this on then great you know just one of those things that I I use that just I don't know make my life easier now here's the thing also this is again like I mentioned this is highly modifiable since you're making it from scratch you can actually put a swivel here if you want I want to keep it just like that you know because I like tying knots as opposed to swivels putting swivels on something it's I don't put them randomly if there's a swivel there there's a use for it okay so yeah that's it kind of a long video but uh, hope you learned something and if you haven't yet please like and subscribe share with your friends so that they also know I'll see you in the next one